We've been asking all of Paige's teammates, what, is Paige a good dancer? <laughs> okay, so Paige can find a beat. <laughs> okay, like, he can. So it's all about fun. finding. Yeah, like, that is the most diplomatic answer I've ever heard in my entire <laughs> yeah. life. Taylor Swift secrets, Taylor Swift secrets, Taylor Swift secrets, Taylor Swift secrets. Uh, what Taylor- are you doing? I'm manipulating the algorithm. Now YouTube is going to recommend us to all the Swifties looking for hot, hot Taylor Swift secrets. We're going to get a million views. Trust me on this. Okay. Taylor Swift secrets. Taylor Swift secrets. Taylor Swift secrets. Taylor Swift secrets. Taylor's ASMR videos. Cleaning Keurig videos. Women eating food. (laughs) The grape stomping lady. Okay. Old man falls. (laughs) (laughs) Cat, <laughs> cat videos. <laughs> Welcome to, to In These Tweets. Questions from a superfan. Huh. We're at our favorite part of the show. My favorite. I think it's yours. Paige, are there any sports that you really love besides soccer? Or are you soccer monogamous? I've been waiting for this question. Really? Basketball is my all-time favorite sport. Re- Did you play? Yeah. I Were you went, good? I almost went to college for both soccer and basketball. That's not D1. fair, Paige. That's not fair. Pick one. Were you a point guard? I, what gave it away? Your general <laughs> shortness? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I was a point guard. <laughs> but my mom was like, you know what, honey? You should stick to soccer. You're really? pre- You're pretty short. Yeah. Oh. So bless her for that. I'm not as happy as I would be as a professional <laughs> basketball player, but I'm still getting things done. <laughs> Were you like playing like I don't understand the basketball system. So was it was it like AAU or um, AYSO have, or I'm, I don't even know the teams. Um, so that's when I quit. I didn't quit basketball. I played for high school, was on varsity all four years. Okay. Just saying we were ranked pretty much number one in the country. Wait, that's a are you serious? Yeah. And I just saw one of my teammates can you dunk? play. Yeah, I can. <laughs> if I step on two of my teammates' backs, <laughs> jump on their shoulders, do a flip to get higher, and then I can dunk. <laughs> that sounds hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I saw one of my teammates um, randomly, she plays for Minnesota, play against LA Sparks. And that was super cool. I go, Jess! And she had the biggest smile on her face. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know you were that good at basketball. Yeah. What are your strengths? Um, is it court vision? Is it dribbling? Look at me. Yeah. Is it court vision, dribbling? Are you pretty other much other skills? No, definitely my vision. Okay. Defense. Soccer players are like notorious for good defense. Oh, okay. Um, and dribbling, breaking presses. Wow. Although, were you high scorer? I'm only asking because I played basketball in middle school and I was also point guard. Okay. And. Um, I remember that my friend who was very good at basketball was like, my dad saw you play and was like, she's fast. Oh. And that's not a compliment (laughs) in basketball, I feel like. Yeah. I mean, you, you do have to be kind of quick, but I think, I think you have to be a good shooter and And that's what I never really had. Okay. To be honest. Um, memory back in the day, state final, I stole this ball. Great defense again. And I was all alone, and I bricked a layup, and we lost by one point. We got second in the state final. Yeah. But look at you now. Look at me now. Look at you now. You're a professional soccer player. And we're still and not we, in the playoffs. Okay, spot. <laughs> all right. Wait a second. You'll get but there. But we're, we're getting there. We're you'll, getting you'll there. You'll get there. Yeah. You know? And I feel like if you had a breakaway in soccer. I would score. You would score. Absolutely. I believe in you. Okay. Okay. Great. What is off season like for you? Like, does your routine change? Are you still working out all the time to stay in shape? Yeah, my routine changes. I I live a lot more free. Like, I can jump on a plane and go to like my friends' weddings, and I never get to do that. Yeah. Um, but I usually make myself rest for like three weeks after the season. Um, it's really hard, mentally and physically. My body just needs it. It's yeah. Same with everyone else. So we t- a lot of us take trips to Europe, um, kind of get away from everything. Uh, but I start right into it. I might overtrain a little bit. Um, I 
have this amazing trainer in DC who gives me all these workouts and we do FaceTime things with each other. Just trying to be my best athletic yeah. self. Strength training is the most important thing in the off season because during season you lose a lot of muscle and probably uh. explosive because we run so much. So that's the most important. But I do, I play pickup soccer pretty much every day. Do you really? It's literally. Wait, who do you play with? Um, some random men that I me um in dc <laughs> you, you did say that in a sketchy way <laughs> okay <laughs> off the streets i recruit anyone to come play with me some random men <laughs> out on the street okay okay i haven't like out in the park you just like go and like okay i haven't discovered my people yet in la in okay. dc i used to train with a lot a lot of the dc united guys oh cool yeah i played pickup with them every single day and it makes me so much better but it also like brings all the joy back in my life Aww. with soccer because it's just a bunch of friends and it's a smaller field so I can hang with these guys. Um, super fun. Yeah. So I got to find my peeps in So LA. you need to find a team. Yeah. Do you want to join my 30 plus women's league? <laughs> you're 29 so you can't even, you're not even allowed to join. Do you wear the uh, shin guards with the ankle guards? Hell still? no. I'm cooler than that. All right. All right. All right. I'm in. That okay. was all I needed. I don't think you're going to want to play with us. <laughs> I feel like I might get injured if I play. Honestly, yes. Because yeah. I feel like it's um, I, it's one of those, it's it's a great league, but I feel like it's one of those situations where like, it'll just be like a freak thing. So don't, no, yeah. stay away from okay. me and my 30 plus women's league. <laughs> Do you have one game moment that sticks out as being your favorite? Like a, a moment that you really, really crushed it? First year as a starter in the NWSL. I came back from overseas, a uh, super fun year. I got way better. Um, my team was amazing. We had Mallory Pugh, Rose oh Lavelle. God. Literally crazy. Andy Sullivan. Um, anyways, we had one game left in the season and we had to win in order to have a chance at the playoffs. It was packed in Maryland. We had like 6,000 fans, which wasn't, which was a lot. At That's the time. a lot. It was a lot, yeah. And like the 80th minute, um, our goalkeeper comes out, misses the ball. The ball goes right to Dabinia. Oh, God. And the goal is wide open. And Dabinia chips Aubrey. And Aubrey, I see Aubrey's face like this. And, and I we go, know Aubrey. I go, oh, hell no. And I run back and made a goal line saving clearance. <gasps> I know. No That's one, so cool. Thank you. It is. We never get the glory. I think it's honestly cooler than scoring a goal sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. You, sh you should have heard the fans. They're like, <gasps> oh, you know. Can we was, find that oh, highlight? God. Is that highlight? Yeah. Okay, we're going to find yeah. it. We're going to find it and we're going to put it in. In the near corner. Wright crosses it. And there's a touch. A strike saved at the goal line. You haven't told that. I've never heard that. That's amazing. Okay. We will recruit you. Paige, Paige Nielsen. Tian Tran, <laughs> this what's is, up? <laughs> this is a very sad day. Oh. Because today we are saying goodbye to our new recruit, Lauren Walker. What? Yes. Sorry. Why? Because we're saying hello to our new soccer diehard fan, oh. Lauren Walker! <laughs> This is your coronation day. Oh my God, That's amazing. Right. <laughs> what do you think of our decorations? I love it. I was just saying, this is more than my parents have ever done for me when I've accomplished anything. So Suck it, walkers. <laughs> yeah, eat sh Eat sh walkers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Lord. God. Lauren, look, we have. This is wild. <laughs> this we have, here, 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 here. You can put the, we, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. It's also used for haircuts. Oh, oh my yeah. god, it doubles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It doubles as a, a bit. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. Yeah, well, this is And you are so now cool. Queen soccer fan. <laughs> oh shit, a stick. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, no, sorry. How to use that? No, I don't. This um, is amazing. Oh my god. Okay. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this, this is bad. This is bad. Lauren, yeah. we'd also like to present you with some celebratory champagne. Oh my God, a bottle of Moet. Because you have been on a long journey for us. You, you, oh you started at zero. 
Yeah. Yeah. Someone who honestly were you were like actively against soccer, let's just say it. Yeah. I was telling people not protesting to go to the, game. In the streets. Yeah. <laughs> protesting, you're yeah. saying not right to outside go. the stadium. Yeah. Specifically women's soccer. I know. You were like no women's soccer. I said women shouldn't play sports. <laughs> <laughs> when you I'm say kidding. that with a crown, it's starting to feel a little power. I'm sorry. <laughs> you were saying no, women, but I was not a fan. You were saying that. Yeah, <laughs> I was not. <laughs> <saying>. <laughs> and now, look at you. You're a true fan. Yeah, thinking about getting season tickets. Are you really? Yeah. What? <laughs> Assuming the strike ends and we have jobs. Yes. Yes. <laughs> As soon as I get a paycheck. I love this. Yeah. We can crowdfund. Maybe. We can do that. And okay. uh, as queen, I demand it. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite part of this whole journey? Oh, God. There are so many excellent moments. So many dreams came true that I didn't know that I had. Jodie Foster. Jo See, Jodie, Jodie Foster. Foster. <laughs> Jennifer Garner, the celebrities. Um, the VIP experience, going to the game. Uh, Fan Fest, Pride Day. Um, and then, of course, like spending time with you guys, getting to know you better, Aww. and like watching these interviews. Like, I. <laughs> <laughs> Why did that sound sad? I, know, I, <laughs> yeah. it, womp, womp. I wanted it to be a, a respectful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a tutu. Ah, uh, beep beep. Um, and yeah, getting to learn so much about soccer that I honestly didn't give a sh about before, <laughs> but now I care about, and I've truly like become a fan of the sport. I kind of become a fan of the players. Aww. I'm genuinely interested in like not just soccer, but women's sports in general. I went to a uh, Sparks game the other week. Wow. Uh, yeah. And that was. What's happening? <laughs> it's so fun. I know, I'm changing. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I'm so grateful for this experience. It's been it's been life changing. Thank you. Wow. It, is this the first time you've been hazed into something? I feel like I've been celebrated into it. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. You've been the best recruit. Lauren, let's take a trip down memory lane. We put together a little lovely montage of your memories, and I think we should celebrate you. Are we gonna play Celine Dion in the background? Um, I don't know if we can get oh, legally, go legally but something. Yeah, something. Let's meet Lauren, our In These Cleats recruit. Get your gay ass out here, Lauren. <laughs> we sent you to a game. Yeah, you did. And it was good. <laughs> did you understand the game at all? Okay. Um. Yes. <laughs> On a scale from like, I don't like soccer to I'm a huge fan now. Ooh. I'm at like a three. <laughs> I was up at 2.30 in the morning watching that game. My girlfriend was mad at me. Wow. <laughs> I think we've got her on the right track. I, yeah, this is really getting me pumped. <laughs> Today is training day. Oh Come with us. <laughs> oh. The corner. That counts. Yes. <laughs> Lauren went to another Angel City game, but this time we sent her VIP. Uh, gave me a, a moment for my highlight reel at, at death. I know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> at death. Wow. Y'all know when you're on your deathbed and then yeah, you go through and they play the you know, all the yeah. highlights of your life. Okay. Lauren, I got a question. <laughs> are you going to keep, are, there's a lot of Angel City season left. Mm -hmm. Are you going to come to more games? Even though you might not be sitting in VIP, you might not be getting free food. You might not be getting chicken lollipops. Okay. You might not be on the Jumbotron. There aren't Pride Fests every single time. <laughs> Paige plays all the time. Paige will be there. That should you, be enough. That should be enough. But be do you think? <laughs> okay. <Sorry. No. laughs> I can't take that over. <laughs> um, yeah, for sure. I'll be in the fan, fan section and uh, supporter section. What's it called? Yeah, yeah. Have you done the supporter section yet? <laughs> not yet. Okay, but you I want to do it. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely next on my list. Um, and I hope that uh, <laughs> it's just more fun to hold it this way. Yeah, like do a, it. Like do a it. lightsaber. Yes, do it. <laughs> um, I hope at times I can get some free ticks. <laughs> Hell yes. <laughs> but you gotta talk to my wife about that. Okay, right, cool. okay. But yeah, I don't mind where I sit. I'm, I love those games. Yeah. <gasps> I'm 
all over it. I'm a soccer bitch now. Soccer bitch. 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 Joining us today is my amazing teammate. She's also an amazing person. She played soccer and, and track at DePaul University, where she was a three time member of the Big East Conference all academic team and earned all Big East first team honors. She went on to play for the Chicago Red Stars for five seasons, becoming their first Iron Woman. She was also called up for the U.S. national team twice. Now you can see her playing defense with me every week at Angel City. It's Sarah Gordon. Welcome. Thank you for having me. (laughs) How was it? Playing your old team on Sunday. Oh, wow. Just get right into it. (laughs) How was the playing my old team? Well, it was, I was so happy to be back in Chicago. Like Paige, you saw that. I was like smiling ear to ear and the like pregame training the day before was so fun. And I was happy to be around friends and family. And then when it came to the game, I almost like felt like I like disassociated and was like, wait, I'm home and I'm playing on this field I played on hundreds of times and it felt weird and I like didn't feel fully present. So I have so many regrets Mm -hmm. about the game, but it was great to be in front of friends and family and to be back in Chicago after missing last season. And it was great to get a result, not the result we wanted, but to get a point is obviously better than, you know, we're on a can't lose track right now. So um, it was bittersweet and there were good feelings and there were bad feelings. TN said it was really fun to see uh, you, me, Vignola, Ali, Jazz, Meg, Harry Cheech, Ange, um, really command the back back half of the field. Yeah, I'm obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, especially because we have a song. Sarah Gordon, yeah, Paige Nielsen, yeah. Do you feel like you've become more of a unit this year? And does it help having a good partnership? Well, I feel like I totally agree with you. The second half of this season, we have gotten our shit together and been really strong on the same page on the same page. <laughs> um, Sarah, we don't do puns on this podcast, okay? <laughs> Save it Sorry, for the that comedian. Was just, <laughs> no, that was just... just that's, <laughs> why did I do that? Ugh. It was perfect. Anyway, <laughs> yes, like we've really gotten it together the second half of the season and I have felt, you know, just in the same flow with you, Paige, with MA, with Allie, with whoever, Meg, whoever happens to be playing and I mean, it's Becky has helped us. She's you know, really told us to command our half of the field and really lead from the back, which is really important from your coach. You want them to put that on you as a center back, especially. Um, And I feel like our partnership page has grown so much. Um, We know each other's tendencies. You know, we know what we both like to take different risks and we kind of know what risks each of us like to take. And so we can back each other up when we do want to take those risks. (laughs) And so I do feel like we're a unit and we are together and it's always a great feeling just to be out with people that you know have your backs and are fighting for you and that's the most important thing and I really think, feel like that's the biggest change you know from the first half of our season to the second. I have to say as a fan having the two of you in that back line I feel so as a fan I'm like everything's fine it's all good <laughs> there's no problems whatsoever um what are you thinking about like in these last few games here like how are you preparing and as a team how are you preparing for the last bit of this push to get into the playoffs to be completely honest it's a lot of pressure to be in a situation where you can't lose a game mm-hmm. and it's been like i don't know how you feel Paige, but it's been really mentally taxing to me and emotionally taxing. And I've never, this is what my, technically my seventh season, because I took a season off. I've never like felt so taxed at this point in the season. Mm -hmm. Um, So it is so hard. Like it is so draining, but we have a really good group right now. And I feel like we get along off the field. Like our last training session before the game in Chicago, it's just like, it's good vibes. And it, it's really like 
helping get us through right now and like helping keep the energy good, I feel like. It's a lot of pressure. We honestly aren't playing the prettiest soccer even because of all this pressure, but we are trying to do the ugly shit right. (laughs) And um, it helps having a a good camaraderie with your team. And um, I love this group so much. It's one of the best like family oriented teams I've ever been on. And Mm -hmm. I think that is what's pushing us through, especially because we did have a, a rough start to the season and we need every single person to to fight for a playoff position. Sarah, you talk a lot about mental health and like, you know, I've, I've seen you talk in different um, interviews about meditating. How important is that to you in this sort of latter half of the season? Like what are some things that you're doing to kind of help with that sort of taxingness of this particular part of the season? Yeah, I think that mental health is always a priority for me because I've been in the place where it feels out of control and that affects my game and my life in so many ways. And so for me, it's about getting ahead of it. Um, but yeah, like, like I was just saying, and Paige was just saying, like, it's the part of the season where we're like, ah, I'm, I don't know what to do. My brain's going crazy. So it's even more important now. And so like, for me, it's a lot of times about waking up and being like, what can I do this morning to set myself up for a good day because training's going to be hard. I don't feel like going. We've been training for eight months, mm-hmm. whatever, you know, I may be feeling in the morning. And so it always consists of like meditating and some breath work mm-hmm. and a cold, a good cold shower gets my brain right. Cause it's like, if you take a cold shower in the morning, it's the worst part of the morning. Like it's not going to get worse <laughs> than that. So that's been something else I've been utilizing. And just like really when I'm meditating, just kind of listening to my thoughts and not putting too much pressure on myself to be a certain way, because that's what I do on the field. I criticize myself so much. I'm always looking at everything I did wrong. And so kind of setting the tone in my meditations of just letting myself be and then hoping it flows into the rest of the day. It never does, but um, it's just so important right now as part of the season. And- Sarah, you're very big into fashion loved scrolling through your Instagram. What do you think of these NWSL tunnel walks? And like, do you think they're better than WNBAs? I think that everyone is doing a great job in their own way, but um, (laughs) I'm always, (laughs) it was so political of me, I feel like. But no, for real, I mean, the WNBA tunnel fits are amazing, but also, you know, you know, the soccer girlies show out and I love how everyone expresses themselves in their own way. There's no such thing as right or wrong in fashion. That's why I love it. It's whatever you want to do. And it's a great way to, you know, get ready for a game. Whoa, 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 whoa. You say that, oh, you say that wrong. I wear a lot of fashion. <laughs> Except for Paige. I take it back. I take it back. So Paige, you know, she's a... She's trailer core. We're, we're working on it, but she's trailer core right now. But it does suit her. Trailer <laughs> core. I thought it was homeless <laughs> chic. What the f- <laughs> What the fuck? It's a spectrum between the two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at my hat with so. my dog shirt. I picked this up at Goodwill. <laughs> Sarah, if, if you could put Paige in an outfit for the tunnel, what what would you throw her in? <laughs> Well, I would get rid of those damn boots. That's for sure. And I would, I, I like what she's working with right now. With a fresh pair of some, some retro Jordan ones. I mean, it's a fit. You have an amazing organization called Project Hood Space. Could you tell us a little bit more about its mission and, and what you hope to do with it in LA? I know it started in Chicago, um, but now in LA, well, what are some of the things that you're looking forward to with Hood Space? Yeah, so Hood Space is... Um, a nonprofit that I created and the idea was just bringing yoga and meditation um, to black and brown girls in Chicago at the time. Um, And I've just done a few clinics here in LA. I've done two. And then I did a few back in Chicago where, you know, I brought some actually girls and boys together. I shouldn't say girls anymore. It was both. Um, We did yoga. We meditated. um, We talked about affirmations, played some soccer. I brought some teammates out and then we got some goodies. I gave them some gift bags and just kind of trying to get them excited about mental health because it's just like a space where, you know, black and brown communities don't always see the resources for that. And it's just an amazing tool to use for everyone in life. We're finally at a place in society that we can talk about mental health in such a more public way. 
but like people really don't have the resources, like you said, especially black and brown folks, like it's so wonderful to see. And I hope you get to do more of that here in LA and let us know how we can help too. Cause yes. I'm down yeah. to volunteer yeah. as well. I'm, I'm down to be in that mental health. I need to be yeah. a participant. <laughs> um, <laughs> Like, speaking of um, not having access, um, do you believe, like, the lack of resources are a reason why there aren't more people of color playing soccer? And, like, what can we do to combat that? I feel like there's a few reasons. Resources is definitely one of the reasons that soccer is not as prevalent in the Black community. Um, Obviously, basketball and football are more popular sports. And it's so interesting because of how popular soccer is um, in the world. But, Mm -hmm. you know, we've Mm -hmm. talked about it a million times that here in the US, it's expensive. It takes a lot of times for parents, a lot of time and sacrifice for parents to drive their kids to club and meet those requirements. And so, yeah, I definitely think that's, you know, I think we all think that's a a big reason why it's not as popular. Um, And so I feel like hood space, is an example, but just all, you know, any organization and any pro athletes going into these communities. And especially if we're a part of these communities and like we're represent representatives of them and bringing the sport and bringing more than the sport, you know, bringing our energy and our love and our time. I feel like that is the most important thing that we can do for kids of color, because the last thing that I, or, you know, most of us want to do is walk into a black around community, throw a camp and then take our stuff and leave. Like we want to connect with these kids and, you know, be role models for them and be friends with them and just, you know, hear them out. And so, um, I mean, that's part of the reason I started hood space, but sorry, it's kind of a long winded answer, but, um, I feel like that's the best thing that we can do for the sport. Yeah. And I feel like uh, love and connection is always number one, but talking about like soccer is like, you need money and you also need to drive mm-hmm. far, far to far places and like time for mothers. Like in Europe, they have academies and, and these, some of these kids actually live at the academies and get sponsored and, and stuff like that when, when they see potential or, or not. And I think like as a country, we can, we can definitely do things better for, for youth soccer in general. And that's like a whole nother conversation because Mm -hmm. you see people on national teams and it's like most of them are pretty privileged and we have so many amazing people in our country and athletes and that that just don't get the same opportunities and we can do so much more to help with that (laughs) what is it like to be uh this sort of soccer mom in the league in the w nwsl and do you like feel like the league has been supportive throughout and has helped Um, So I would say where we are today, things have gotten so much better for the moms. I definitely feel supported by my club, most importantly. Um, And like when I started, when I got drafted back in 2016, there was really no support for moms and our salaries were literally nothing. And so it was it was so difficult at that time being a single mom um, trying to make it work with my son, who at the time was like two, three years old. So, so that was like very difficult, but we've come so far and, you know, like players are actually willing to take a break, step away, have kids and come back. And I feel like just being willing to do that shows you how far um, the NWSL has come. And it's obviously a hard job. And I am like constantly saying, like, I hate when people are like, you're a superhero because it's like, no, like I'm good at one. And then I'm sucking at the other. It's really not like it's the opposite of being a superhero, Mm. but it's amazing to have my son grow up around my teammates and just get to like be in this experience. It's so rare and it's amazing for him. And he loves the sport and he loves my teammates. And that's my favorite part, really. Does he know how much of a badass you are? Yeah. No, he doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Keep he, you humble. That's right. <laughs> he's just, he, he He comes around and just asks if we would come to a soccer games. That's, that's, but, but he's like the, he's, he's like, the cutest, best kid ever. <laughs> he's like, I'm tired of going to y'all's games. Y'all need to come to my games and cheer me on. <laughs> <laughs> I I want to see him play. I there's still time. <laughs> there's still time. There's 
still time. There's still time. I'll I I would show up as a complete stranger and it won't be weird at all. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't care. He would love this sport. Like, just he would love that. <laughs> Before we go, because we've had we've we've kept you for a little bit and I know you're tired from a very long trip and you just got home. So we've been asking all of Paige's teammates, what, is Paige a good dancer? <laughs> okay, so Paige can find a beat. Okay, like, he can. So It's all about sucks. finding. Yeah, right? That is the most diplomatic answer I've ever heard in my entire <laughs> yeah. life. No, she, that, that was good. That was like a compliment. <laughs> well, Sarah, thank you so much for taking the time to sit with us. Um, I'm so excited for you and the rest of the team for this next these next couple games. We will be cheering so hard. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming into my bedroom. <laughs> okay. Tian. Yes, Paige. We're gonna play a game. I love it. How much do you know about the NWSL? Honestly, I know the most about Angel City, but I yes. I don't know that much about the other teams. We'll take it. You okay. don't need to know. The I other, mean, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You have to know this league. No, I do. From up to down. I, I do. Okay, we'll see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to give you a bunch of clues and you're going to have to try and guess what team it is in our league. Okay. Are you ready? No, but I, I have no choice. <laughs> well, you do have a choice. I mean, I do have a choice, but I'm choosing to play. <laughs> oh, yay. Okay. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, the first one is a show on the CW. That's the clue. Yep. No. Okay. We, we have more. Not to be c- not to be confused with the drizzle. To preside. Okay. Oh well, rain. Oh, you got it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is fun. See? Okay. Random clues for okay, non soccer okay, okay, people. Okay. 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 A questionable airline. <laughs> okay. Spirit. You don't know. Oh. Watch it to spirit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. We never fly in. <laughs> Yeah, but during a storm, they'll probably take off. Oh. Others won't. That's that doesn't give me oh. a good feeling. Okay. Well, you won't get stuck. I don't, that's I what don't I'm want saying. the. I don't want the airline that's like, we'll take off in a storm. <laughs> well, you need to live a little, okay? Okay. All right. What's next? All right. Jim Tan Laundry. Jim Tan Laundry. G- Jim. GTL baby. I know Jim Tan Laundry. Birthplace of Batman. Oh, go- Gotham. Gotham FC. Wow, good job. What the hell is Jim Tan Laundry? New Jersey. Jersey Shore, bro. Oh, okay. Gotham plays in New Jersey, Jersey for everyone why. that doesn't know. Yes, they do. There's no space in New York City. <sighs> okay. A flow of electricity. Casey Current. Oh, that's pretty good. These clues are pretty easy. I'm not going to lie. No, they're not. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, one half of Morse code. Morse code? Boop, boop. I don't, okay. <laughs> I'm just thinking it out loud. Boop. Okay, the quickest of the Incredibles. D- oh, um, Houston Dash. Wow, good job. Houston Dash. Genius. Really I, genius. Uh, this is actually, this feels really good. You have no idea. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. The Crimson Celestials? Crimson Celestials. Okay, Period stars. K- keep going. Okay. They're on the city flag. Oh, the red stars. Yeah. Good job. Crimson threw me off. But yeah. I see now. Yeah, I get it wow. too. It threw me off Look reading it. <laughs> A cowardly dog. Mm. Eh? In the face of adversity. Why well, there's only uh, one more? Uh, no, you don't know. Okay. Another word for bravery. Though. Per- North, and North Carolina courage. Nice. You find them in the outfield. Um, Angel City. Wow. All right, this is mm. getting too easy. A guardian watching over you. Angel City. And a messenger from a- Angel <laughs> City, baby. <laughs> You're like one in my side. What? You're like one of these in my side. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Portland Thorns. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> A pain in my ass. Wow, Portland Thorns. <laughs> yeah. Wow, wow, wow. You can ride it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 
Okay. <laughs> what are you thinking of I, at this moment? I mean, there's only one or, one or two more teams left, right? Yeah. You can ride it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the Cincinnati scooters, um, the the mechanical bulls. That's what I was thinking. Mechanical of. bull. What other team is? Okay, give me another one. No, that wasn't a clue. Okay, um, using your hand to say hi. Using um, San Diego wave. Nice. nice. You can ride you it. You can ride it. Yeah. yeah. Since I'm a surfer now, that counts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Orlando Pride. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, ah. No. 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 Yes. 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 Well, that whistle yes. can only mean one thing. It's stoppage time. Okay, here we go. Pie versus cake. Oh my god. What? On the count of three. Okay. One, two, three. Pie. pie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we are the same person wow. now. Okay. <laughs> um. Why? I like I like a te I like texture in my food. Yeah. Um. So I love like cake is so soft. You can just yeah. you can just eat it with like you can you don't even have to chew. Um, <laughs> slurp it. You can just slurp Straw. it. You can drink it. You can yeah. drink a cake. <laughs> and what I love about pie is that there are just so many different textures. I love a pie crust. Yeah. That's and the I, best part, really. It is the best part. Yeah. And like so many fun fruit surprises. Yeah, what's your favorite pie? I like a classic apple pie. Yeah. Or, it was just in my brain so tired. I was just about to say cheesecake. Um, <laughs> That's close enough no, to a pie. it's not, it's not. Okay, hold on. You know, New Yorkers call pizza pies. Do they? So we okay. can call cheesecake pies. Okay, um, but I do love apple pie. That's my favorite. Yeah. And pumpkin pie. Those are my two. If I'm going to choose anything, it's not going to be pie or cake. It's apple crumble or apple crisp. Okay, Where's that, like the, that was another quarter. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do here. <laughs> okay, it's it's apple pie mushed together, but with like crunchier things. Okay, that's true. Yeah, that's your favorite dessert, all time, of with all little time. Vanilla ice cream. Wow. Yeah. You know. Okay, I'm gonna go back on myself. I love between pie and cake. I love pie, but my favorite dessert is creme brulee. Oh wow. And, and 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 uh, is it bougie? Yeah, it's pretty bougie. Okay, fine. It's a torched sugar. Okay, fine. <laughs> and like and, and and I love just like breaking little sugar to top, the top and then getting the texture of the sugar and yeah. the softness of the whatever the creme is. You just said softness wasn't your thing. I know, that's why I'm saying I'm going back on myself. Oh, okay. I'm a liar. Yeah. I'm yeah, a dessert you liar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Have you ever made are you like a dessert maker? No, my wife bakes all the desserts. Oh, wow. Yeah. Classic gender roles. <laughs> what? I'm the man? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. What yeah, gives you away that I'm the, the man? I didn't say anything. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> you just did. <laughs> Thanks for watching In These Cleats. We'll see you next week. <laughs>